School Freeware's Free Pascal Program Tutorials. Tutorial 6. Case Statements. Case statements are similar to if statements. Case statements can be easier to read, easier to understand, more compact, and may execute faster than if statements. However, the case statement does not accept string variables. This is the syntax of the case statement. We have case followed by the variable of, then the condition. We will begin the condition. We'll have the computer do something. We'll end the condition and then we'll end the case statement. Also, case statements may have multiple conditions. The code used within this tutorial can be downloaded at schoolfreeware.com. This tutorial will show two examples of how to use a case statement. The first program will prompt the user to select A, B, C, or D, and then we'll tell the user which letter was selected. I've already created a new project. The first thing I need to do is make a variable for our user selection. So var cell, which will be short for selection. And since I can't use a string, I'll use a character. And then within begin, I'll go ahead and prompt the user to enter a selection. A, B, C, or D. Then I'll reline into cell. Okay, here's where I'll start the case statement. Case, and then the variable, which is cell, of, and here I'm going to put in an uppercase A, and then I'll begin. I'll right line to the screen, telling the user that A was selected. Finally, I'll end. All right, when I go ahead and run this, if I use an uppercase A, we have A was selected. If I use a lowercase A, nothing is returned. And that is because the computer is case sensitive, so uppercase A is not the same as lowercase A. So what I'm going to do is go back to where I have this uppercase A. I'm gonna put in a comma, and then a lowercase A. Now, Adjust this so it looks nice. And now I can use the uppercase A and the lowercase A. So I'll run this again. Uppercase A works. And now lowercase A should work. Now we also have to put in for B, C, and D. So I'm going to go ahead and put in for B. Make sure that I have an uppercase B, a comma, lowercase B, colon, begin. I'll right line to the screen, that B was selected. I'll go ahead and end the statement. Set for uppercase C and lowercase c. Colon, begin. Right line, that C was selected. And, and finally we get to uppercase D and lowercase D. Okay, the computer automatically put in an end here, which will end the case statement. So I'll go ahead and run this. I'll put in B, B was selected. Run again, C. Run again, D. And if I were to run and put something that's not A, B, C, or D, nothing is printed out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna put in an else here. Else, begin. And then I'll write line that something else was selected. I'll then end for the else. And if I were to run now, enter in something other than A, B, C, or D, 
the computer responds accordingly. Okay, for the next program, what I'm going to do is have the user enter in a test score and the computer will return a grade. First thing I need to do is make a variable for the score. So I'll go up here and var score will be an integer. All right, I'll go ahead and prompt the user to enter in a score. And I'll read line the response into score. We'll have a case statement, case, the variable which is score of zero with a range of 59. So we'll begin and I'll right line to the screen, grade F. I'll then end. The grade of D will be 60, range ending at 69, we'll begin, white line, grade D, and for grade C we start at 70 and end at 79, we begin, right line, grade C, for an end. The range of 80, 89 will begin. Right line, grade B. And, and finally for grade A, 90, 100. Begin, right line, grade A. And, and the computer automatically put in an end for us here at the bottom, which will end the case statement. So let's go ahead and run this. Let's try 59. Try 72. eighty-eight. 100. That all looks pretty good, but if I were to run this and put in something like a negative 10, it doesn't return anything. So what I'd like to do is to prompt the user that they entered in an incorrect number. So I'll put in an else, begin, and I'll right line to the screen, a score other than zero through 100 was entered. Finally, and the else, run this again, I'll put in a negative 10, 